The first ADT that we will discuss is Q. The Q abstract data type only allows deletion at the front and additions at the rear. It follows the first in, first out policy. A queue is like persons lining up to order in a fast food restaurant. The first in line is the first person to be served. Whenever a new person arrives, he has to line up at the rear end. In queues, adding of new data is referred to as in queue, and deleting data is called the queue. Here's an example of a queue and the in queue and the queue operations. So say we have people lining up to use the ATM. The first person is at the front and person number four is at the rear end of the queue. When a new person arrives and he also wants to use the ATM, he has to line up at the rear end of the queue. And that operation is called in queue. So person number five is now the new end of the queue. If person number one has already finished using the machine, then that person will leave the queue or will be dequeued or will be deleted from the queue. So person two now is the new front of the queue. Here's another example. We perform the following operations on an initially empty queue. In queue 12, 2 and 78 and then the queue. In queue 90 and 56 and then the queue. And then finally, another dequeue operation. So here's how the queue would look like. So for the first in queue operation to an initially empty queue, our queue contains the value 12 and 12 is the front of the queue at the same time the rear of the queue as well. Next operation in queue 2, front is 12, rear is 2, in queue 78, and then the queue. 12 was removed from the queue, the new front is 2, 78 is still the rear of the queue. In queue 90, and Q56, and then the Q, the Q is removed, 78 is the new front, the Q, 78 is removed, 90 is the new front of the Q. Qs can be implemented using the list data structure in Python. We use the append function for enqueuing a data into the Q and the pop function for dequeuing the data from the Q. Here's a Python program that implements the QADT. One application of the queue data structure is in operating systems. Operating systems schedule the tasks that will be executed by the machine. Queues are used to store processes in the memory that are awaiting to be executed. This is referred to as the ready queue. Whenever the central processing unit becomes available, a process is dequeued and is run. Whenever a new process arrives, it is added at the end of the queue.